New England cottontail wraps up gray and brown fur to keep them warm and to hide from other animals. They keep this fur all year long. They have big long ears so they can hear other animals. When it's first born, it can't fear here. Mom takes care of it for two weeks. They have, they live for three to four years. It has five to six babies at a time. The New England cottontail likes to eat clover, dandelions, and blueberries. In the winter, they eat bark. The habitat of the New England cottontail rabbit is that it hides in tiny trees to not get seen from predators. It can sometimes sleep in shrubs and tiny trees. The New England cottontail's predators are hawks, owls, and foxes. The New England cottontail is endangered because people are building lots and lots of houses and destroying their habitat. The New England cottontail rabbit is endangered because of everybody. They are building homes and cutting, cutting down shrubs in their habitat. The New England cottontail rabbit is endangered because of cars. Cars are dangerous because the New England cottontail rabbit are getting ran over. So we should take more time to carefully look on the road. They are in danger because people are dropping food on the road and when they go in the road to look for food, they are hit by cars in the road. Building houses is all, it's also ruining their habitat. The Newland Cottontail needs their habitat to hide from predators like owls and foxes. The New England cottontail is endangered, so if we don't cut down old trees so little trees can grow, they will go extinct. The predators will find them. The New England cottontail is endangered because of people. There is only 300 left in New England. We can all help the New England cottontail rabbit. Please, please plant some shrubs to help the habitat of the New England cottontail rabbit. People can plant. Sh people who plant gardens sh sh should also plant shrubs to help the New England cottontail. Cut down trees and plant shrubs because they need a habitat. If you see a hurt New England cottontail, bring it to the Center for Wildlife, and they'll fix them up and release them back into the wild. We need to plant shrubs so. The New England cottontail can survive. We saw great help the New England cottontail live and put up swaps so that the New England cottontail can live forever so they will not be in danger for real. We need to cut down some trees so we can print some more swaps. A lot of people don't know that they are in danger. Please tell everyone you know about this problem.